now, we are in the house of Keys Constra here in Mapaya. Yung windmill kanina. Pero yung bahay mismo, attraction yun. Again, please welcome me to your home. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, what's my in your house. mind? Uh, kasi may design nitong bahay niya, you know? Parang, how do you explain? It's it's two houses in one room? Sometimes people, sometimes people ask me, oh, you have two houses. It's, yeah, it's one for me, one for my wife, but then the laughing. <laughs> so no, it's an, it's an H, H frame. H, uh, it's letter From H. From above, it's the letter H. Ah, uh, ginawa niya yung letter H, no? You know, uh, you know, yung, when you create some designs, you, you're like playing, you know? Yeah, playing I like to have... Playing with the design, you know? Not following the rest, just like have my own idea. Not uh, crazy design, but still a little bit off the road. There is the something road. in H, no? It's connected in the midway. Yeah. Uh, so, dalawa and then the kitchen, no? So, well, before we enter your home, uh, this is statue is from. Uh, it's a movie from. Uh, I made it myself, but it's like a typical statue in what you find in Easter Island. I did visit Easter Island in 1998 uh -huh. with my sailing yacht. I sailed uh, around the world for eight years. This is a common one. In yeah, but then this big and 10 meters high. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's all easy. over the island. It's, it's easy uh, to make. No, this is just like the plumb, chicken wire and cement. And ah, chicken wire like, like that. Oh. You're really great. Just and made it in, in, in very morning. artistic, no? And then you choose this uh, plant to be planted in your place, no? The, um, yeah, that's the planting and thing that's mainly my part. Of it, uh, uh, take care for the garden and the child and everything else. I, uh, hi. And uh, before uh, kiss con uh, our continuous conversation let me say hello to the beautiful wife hi <laughs> bohol no ilo ilo po ilo il ay ilongga no and then uh, your beautiful kid the blondie hair hi <laughs> say hello say hi you're a katrina a, a, gr a gray in the making you are miss universe in the making hello say hi hi, hi. are you happy do you want to go to school? Huh? Do you want to go to school? Yan uh -oh. Don't be shy. <laughs> so, hindi ka ba nagagambala sa dami ng mga pumupunta sa inyo? Nakakasyak Mare, <laughs> nakakasyak. Pero happy din. Uh, pero naisip mo na ito Opo. na mangyayari. Yung dami. Ay, hindi. 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 Ano? Pero magaling ka din cook. <laughs> ah, yeah. Of course, Romulus is here from Puerto Galera. Say uh, hello. Hello, I'm best cook. Best cook ka daw eh. Uh, Romulus, no? Parang Roman Roman word, Roman name, ano? Oh, ni-research mo ang pangalan mo. Anong Romulus? Romulus the first king of Rome, brother of Remus. Grabe, kilalang kilala niya. But Remus uh, killed Romulus and uh, Remus Sure, that he pretend he was Romulus, but normally he killed his brother in the jungle. May dagdag pa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, you, ma'am, kayo po ay uh, ma'am taga Puerto din po. Api na malayang ka. Talagang uh, tahimik ang sanos eh, no? Uh, pero pareho din naman sa Puerto eh, no? Ayan. Ilang taong kang chef, sir? Pero ano ang pinaka-specialty mo? Especially European food. European food. Saan mo natutunan ito? At the same time, I like Asian food. Oo. Pero ano usually ang mga European foods? Usually make of bread or? It's combined. Mostly it's bread, fresh salads, and 
like sausages and mostly is a homemade homemade, homemade. what we can what they have is if we had, if the european have most love potatoes dish with with potatoes and salad greens and then be probably good in fish meat steaks it natatakam na ako eh <laughs> <laughs> pero yung dito dal ito alam mo itong lugar na ito eh lugar ng napakaraming kamote eh no Uh, marami kang magagawa out of it kamote. Probably it's a good alternative for a potato. Yes. Potato sometimes too high uh, price. So oh. a, that's a good alternative, I think. Oh, and, and then mapaya. Napakaraming talaba dito. Tahong. Ito yung lugar eh. Uh, mula doon, may magagawa ka sa pasta oh, na. No? Oh, oh, oh. So, in, in, excited ka. Ikaw ang chef. So, uh, yesterday, uh, me and Kiss scout around the area. Oh. Probably for an, uh, probably next few days more, we're going to scout for uh, woods, what kind of woods around, and so we will see what we can provide. Ay, uh, thank you. Uh, gusto gusto ko na yung kanyang uh, lulutuin. And kids, we can still go inside. No. Okay. Ah, <laughs> Maria. Hindi na maafitin na lang. Uh, I, I just want to show the. Uh, average, average life. Uh, ito yung bahay na age, no? Ang sarap na uh, bahay talaga. Uh, this is all about, uh, this yacht is all about, uh, you tell me something uh, before that I want to share with my viewers. This is a ship. That's my last project on my and you, boat yacht in Holland. You made it? Yeah, it's wooden oh. 72 feet long. 72 feet long. Yeah. And, uh, I built it just with a, with a young 16 year old boy. An assistant to 16 years like old. One right? assistant and uh -huh. together we built it. Yeah. Almost two years. Two years to no? finish. And then this and traveled then, to how many countries? 67 countries. 67 countries, my God. It, it retires already. All around the world, yeah. And I think, you, for, for how many years? Three, uh, three years. For three years. You've been saving for three years yeah. for 67, 67 countries with the sailing boat that you have created yeah. with the assistance of 16 year old guy no and then when it was ready i sold the boat yeah i sold everything in the netherlands left and we'll see if i come back or not come back but finally i came back then i sold the boat yeah because it's too big to maintain it's very uh -huh. costly then i buy a smaller one in america and with that one i start sailing again around but then solo just on my own Hey, uh, this boat I needed crew always four or five people. Hey, uh, so now uh, it's in the hands of who? Oh, it's, uh, it's from a Dutch. Uh, it's still in. Still working. All, almost still new saving. condition. Yeah, I can oh. show you pictures right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was really renovated again because 30 years ago. It's renovated already. I built it in '92. So yeah. But it's really like new again. So. Yeah, and you told me before. Sinabi niya na ang buong buhay niya puro paglalayag. Hindi siya nag-asawa kailanman at ngayon lang talaga siya nagkaroon talaga ng time para magkaroon ng family. So you decided to make a family, no? Finally in the Philippines, yeah. Before that was just Wala, my life na. was working and uh, saving money. Uh, you've been I, single I know, for the last I, so many years, no? I more or less retired when I was 40 years old. All right. I mean, I still build houses and sell it, and oh, yeah. that was a kind of my way of making money in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, yeah, now, right now, I got my pension the last two years. Uh -huh. But yeah, more or less, I retire very early. But, uh, because I like to enjoy life. If you wait till you're 65, it's, it's hard to sail and to be on the sea and everything. You know. So I did it while I was still young. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that story. Uh, and then, of course, you have a little pool the, uh, at the back. This yeah, is each really. talaga yung bahay niya. No? Yung sabi niyang biro, ang kaliwa sa misis, yung kaliwa sa kanya, to the left, to the right. But no, it's letter H. Uh, Because of the H in every corner, you can bedroom there, bedroom there. So you have lots of privacy somehow. Now I, I don't care too much. There the kitchen, there the, and then in the center you have like... Ah, uh, it's the center. Yun ang pinaka, ano ba, activity area, activity area, and then the kitchen, ano. How, how and many things? And then with all the sliding doors, you have like the light oh. coming in, so you have here a little... We never sit there really, we don't oh. sit there, but still. It's, uh, Tapos, yung sa letter H, nagagawa niya pang magkaroon ng garden dito, no? Sa likod. Tapos may pool pa ang bata. H na H talaga, eh, no? Tapos, and uh, even the wind, no? You have really studied na it really, will not yeah, it really. come and see through come and go 
come you in. don't need to have an aircon you know in no this time, we, huh? we don't have aircon uh, yeah yeah so you have your room you have your kitchen yeah you have your uh very right. big kitchen uh, for the kids no you can really start do. restaurant here the <laughs> in, in, even this one is convert even convertible to restaurant if uh, yeah. that will become soon be a little one <laughs> uh, but of course that is your house i think the lightings are good also uh, and then titing na natin yung ilang mga libro. And then I think I saw a lot of. How do you call this one? Uh, so yeah, many. We, uh, we call it speltjes in, in Dutch. But is in, the, in the older, like in the 60s, 70s, when I was a kid, then when you buy a certain product, for example, you buy a bottle of Coke, or if you buy two bottles of Coke, you get one one thing for free with, ah. with, with the, the symbol of ah. uh, that is for fuel. That is for, ah. So by every product, you get a little. Like a free freebie, like a gift. So then you start collecting. And and you have it's all Dutch products. You have drunk almost 200 soft drinks. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's not good. That's Mercedes. Uh, that is like from fish. So okay. you buy fish, like uh, coma, that's like a margarine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is flour. And so by every product, uh, it is like the chocolate uh, sprinkles, the famous uh -huh. Dutch sprinkles. So when you buy that, you get a free. It's just like a you stick it in and, and people were, collect and when you have double you collect you exchange with other kids you are able to collect this huh? so yeah it's quite antique right now because uh, uh -huh. it's, like, it's more than 50 years old so, uh, no 60 years old 60 years old it's one of the few things that survived the sea and the dead and the travel and the moving and uh -huh. now, thank you for sharing yeah. so it's quite unique uh, nobody may mga pinapakita din siyang mga libro na kasaysayan ng mga ships sa kanilang bansa. This what is this called? Huh? It's a wooden, it's, it's called bottom. It's a wooden ship and it's like 15 meters long. Uh -huh. And with, with cotton sails, and that's the way they, they did fishing. Ah, really? Towing the nets, like, like, like a... Uh, and that was for my, my even, grandfather. For even my before, father. fishing is quite modern in your... Now it's Place, very huh? modern. Yeah. Uh, and this is already modern one, way way back, but it already improves, no? Further. So ito yung pangisdaan nila. And that is from around 1900. 1900s pa. That was my grandfather. Grandfather. Tatago. That was my... As kid already, I built something, and then somebody from the newspaper came to... <laughs> that was... It started on <laughs> the very young age. Siya ito. Edge. Tapos, iyan, ginawa niya. Tapos, may nag-feature sa kanya sa newspaper. Yeah. Okay, so funny because in the end I built quite similar boat oh. sail around the world. Oh, like, maliit lang that miniature lang dati tapos yung nakita niya sa libro like model ginawa niya na radio uh, control. And this one is you? Then that is like yeah that's also me. I built this for the, for a church. Oh. In Holland it's very common to have in the church like a, a ship is hanging in the church. Uh -huh. So then my uncle, he was uh, connected to the church on an island. Uh, yeah. And I always like to build something like this. But of course, it's big. It's like uh, eight feet long, eight feet high. No, no, not enough space in my elderly home. Uh, yeah. so, so I built it, uh, I donated it. So they cannot, it's still hanging there. They cannot sell it or do it, but it's still for me, but I just give it. Uh -huh. For me, it was the experiments to build something like that. And my mom made the sales. And, it's all from scratch, just from some drawings and pictures. Yeah, and then... Uh, That's my yard. Uh, uh, ito na yung yard yeah, some no? newspaper. Get uh, uh, ito na yung 72... 72 feet. Okay, na ginawa niya. It was a uh, custom oh, design. Ano niya, Poistra. Yeah. At talagang... So it was in a local uh, na magazine. Niya. And then, how did, how did you know uh, the plans or the designs uh, fit for such? project? No, it was a custom design. I just hired the designer who is world famous and a really nice guy and uh, he came because it's very classic. You can see the line is very classic boat uh -huh. but it's underwater. It's very high tech. Uh -huh. So it goes very fast. Mm -hmm. It is the, like the layout. Right? layout yeah. uh, then... Uh, that's due to my construction, that's in my boatyard. I built upside down. It was all strips uh -huh. with epoxy. Epoxy talaga, and, no? And, and nail, like a hammer, like with the nail staples. Uh -huh. 
stapled, layer after layer, so diagonal and zigzag makes it really strong. And it was like about two and a half inch thick, uh, the hole. So, in the document, yeah. Here again, like case, building, by himself, million yards. <laughs> I mean, it was like. You pronounce your name as Case. Not Case. No, Case. Sorry, I can't even pronounce it. It's Case. Case. Because before I did a lot of uh, sailing, racing sailing, with all Dutch barges. And I won a lot of time. Uh, I was somehow very good in tactics and this and that. So I came already a little bit in the picture. And then I started doing this. So I became, oh, they want to follow that. And they want to, of course, the media needs also something to. So in my hometown, I, I became quite famous. Yeah. Uh, so I can so see you sending it, and then Sending. finally the, the uh, big finally day came crane, with the crane right? to get it in the water. Uh, Twenty-two meter yacht, yeah. yacht. Uh, and then that and after launching, we got all these uh, friends, and and relatives, and and your relatives and neighbors. And neighbors. And uh, they are fascinated with your project. My father know? also really uh, proud. Uh, so so he became the master made by myself. It's from timber, so this was my helper. Oh. So that was later the, the crane came to put on the mast. And then. Ito yung gawa niya, no? A beautiful line, like really elegant. Uh, kaya, kaya 67 countries, some kanyang nakapuntahan. You have a machine also? Yeah, many, many tools. I mean, no, no, the engine? Yeah, yeah, like Ay, 150 yeah, horsepower. Yeah, like a tall one. Something like this you have to do once in your life. Oh. Uh, How many ships you you built in your life? I, I did. It was 99% renovating. I renovated. All ships. What was used in as cargo ship, I renovated to like the charter for like 50 people. Yeah, yeah. So not really like an ocean going. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, this is sim, no? Uh -huh. Yeah, that was like the the picture well, in the newspapers. Uh, uh -huh. and then we even get in the, the the national magazine that is all over the uh -huh. world. What is spread? What that's the, you that's the, uh, the sales. Uh, the sales. No. Mm. So, you just use the wind, no? So then, then from the media, from from England, they came and to, to, to wrote a little story about it. It's in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That was the. It, this. It's not hard. It's, it's the symbol of the my Frisian flag. I'm, we have a province. It's Friesland. Friesland. And that is the like this part is like the flag of Friesland. So mm -hmm. when I the sail maker make the sails, I like to have it. I told them I use white and blue and the red uh, symbol. So like this. It was in the Caribbean, and they did a race, yeah. and then the, the Herald 1995, no? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you want to preserve these things. Huh? Yeah, a lot of it get wrecked. It was, uh, and it was in New Zealand, and a yeah. New Zealand reporter came. They heard a story about the ship, so she liked yeah. the story. Uh, yeah. Then, during my sailing, I met a British girl. So we sailed for two years together, but then finally, when we got back in, in Holland, it didn't work anymore. Sailing was okay, but to live together further without sailing it. Uh, so it's a different story. I kept moving, yeah, yeah that's okay. why. So there's a new story, right? Okay. You know that. Okay. 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 This girl, right? Yeah. I even thought, ah, this beautiful one. It's a colorful one, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is your flag? That's a red, white, blue. Okay. Yeah. I mean, more or less the same colors as the Philippine ah, mas, flag. Mas right? color, don't think that much. Here are the colors. Ah, ganda, finish ah. ko, no? Uh, oh, it was beautiful boat. A beautiful boat, wow. And I, I sold it for a beautiful price. So oh, really? From that I could. For years. He sent it to me to test where he can get out of the sea, not to go to the sea, at least in the land, he can live happily up. We had a taxation. Before I left, it was for insurance. We had a taxation and that was like close to 70 million pesos. 70 million pesos. Only tax. No, no, the, the value. 
for assurance, when I would I lose the yard, you pay, of course, they would pay me that amount. Yeah. But I not sold it for that amount, because after three years the sales was already worn out and things. But I still had a good money for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. 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 good, you know, because... And another story yeah. in the magazine about oh, my yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Uh, it's really good, no? It is in... It's given to you the Lord, the Lord. Western Samoa, we had reporters on the... Oh, uh, uh, that was my... All the countries I went. Uh, Ah, uh, tingnan mo, paano natin ito? <laughs> Netherlands, Hispania? Yeah, Hispania. Spain, Spain. Barlados, Dominican Madira, Republic, Canary Guadalupe, Island, Mexico, Mexico, Mexico? Do Dominican uh, Republic. Hi, thank Dominican. you. Uh, St. Martin? No, yeah, it's in the Caribbean. Uh, Dominican, oh, we have. Wow, oh, ang galing naman. Talagang umiiral na yung chef, oh. may mga ganong-ganong. Ganun. Talagang chef na talaga. Na. <laughs> Sensation. So then I had an uncle. Oh, pasok mo na ito, yung ating Maria. Like yung sa bata yun. My uncle, you can, it's also cool, his name is Cool and You can see, he got a little bit the, the face of a typical of a Cool and He looked like me even. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was so excited, he built a medal oh. of, of the... Uh, replica. That is the one, yeah. A replica. Yeah. Uh, dahil naging famous na yung trabaho niya, <laughs> nagkakaroon na ng mga replica model. No? Uh, okay. This was a part of my business, but I I buy an old cargo ship and renovate it. Yeah. And it was uh, this one was one of my last big ones. Okay, no. Sarap. Parang gusto ko naman kapilari dito. Just three in one. Ah, 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 ah. Topical three in one. Pero pagka It was like a 36 meter old cargo ship, but was in the very old days, in 1900, used for sailing cargo. I bought it in the 90s, 80s, and renovated, put mast on it, and my accommodation downstairs for like 28 people. I sold it. 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 This is the ship I did races. It's about like 60 feet, and there are many of them. And then we have races, and then many times I won. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I, and I remember the first race there was, and that was in the. It's like in the sea, not, not the, uh, like salt water, and there's a lot of current, I think. But I, I sailed there a lot. So I really know the time of the, after an hour after high tide, for example, the current there is more than there. So I have a lot of knowledge in the area about sailing, but also about the, the sea and the current. So the first race we did, as like an outsider, and we got 10 minutes before number two, we in the, on the finish already, on the island. It's a race from my hometown to an island. It's like a 20 nautical miles, like 30 kilometers. Uh, so we, the newspapers was like, wow, what's going on? Uh, you've been, uh, you know, uh, uh, no, in like the newspaper whole... almost, almost in Europe, no? Yeah. Hmm. And this is a race, it's like, uh, like you sail without the engine, and you bring, uh, in the old days, it was like the, the cow, the cow shit, you bring it to the south of Holland for the oh, farmers. Yeah. And then somebody came with the idea, we, have, we will have races with this boat, but then the cow shit is like dried, like fertilizer, and you bring like uh, 20 bags, you load it on the boat, and you bring it to there, and you go back. And then the first one who come back without use of engine and everything, and day and night, get the win. And then that's why my, my face is a little bit like worn out after yeah. two yeah. nights not sleeping. Is that, uh uh, Robert Frost, uh, who is the movie star uh, in an island, talking only with the Oh, Robert Redford, I think, or who, Robert Redford was that? Or yeah. Or, 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 or. It, 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 it looks the same. Oh, yeah. uh, you, you, you do not fear. Hindi ka ba natatakot na magulang? I'm not the hell. You, you, do not, you do not fear, like, sunk, sinking. No, you no, know? no, no. I never, I never capsized. I never had really. You have the confidence. What is the secret of not having some? 
Ah, it's the kind of feeling when you're with the wind and the thing, uh, and feeling the wind. Uh, Basta sa wind, nalaruan mo lang. You must like just play with the wind. Kind of gift, yeah? like, like gift, uh, world ideas and things oh, like that. Oh, talagang genius ka talaga. Very, very good. Uh, uh, but it was like with 10, 11 people, uh, it was cool. It's a good thing, okay. So here we won again, win. All right. They, they kept following us and kept following us. Dami sa mga sunod sa iyo, no? So with this, I got a lot of. You're really a superstar. I did it only five years, but it was it was the boat, and then the like a sponsor. It was my hometown, Harling. It was H A, but we had a, a, a building, uh, like a hardware building construction thing, to sponsor this. So they gave us uh, like uh, clothes and rain gear, and every year they gave us, and then it. Uh, for three days, the, the boat was available for them. And I sail, so we go somewhere, we go in a restaurant, they eat, they pay everything. So it was quite like luxury. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the newspapers get, get eaten by the boat. Because I moved and then I put my stuff in boxes and then the, the boat will get in and thing. And so yeah, this is a lot of Grabe, it's all in pictures. newspaper all over the world. Eh, 67 countries nga naman ang kanyang uh, pinupuntahan. Dahil gumawa ng barko, he leads the, the mayor of the Latvia. town and he gave me the prize, like oh, the first prize. Oh, oh. In Holland, I always had a quite a long beard, like oh, a red yeah. collar. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, people know me as like a, like a red, uh, big red beard. Yeah, yeah there's so much uh, newspapers and newspapers. And, this one I renovated, but then one time the, in Holland we have, uh, before Christmas we have Santa Claus. It's like, he's coming from Spain, not really, it's like all uh, fiction. And then he come with, with his friends and then they have uh, December 5 for the kids. If the kids are well behaved and thing, they get present. They have to Santa put, Claus. They, yeah, Santa, yeah, kind of Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. They have to put the shoe by the stove and then the next day, Santa, Santa Claus, he will put some sweets in the shoe. Of course, it's mom and daddy who do that. But, so to keep the kids like all the... Uh, uh, yeah, that was funny, it was in the newspaper, but it's, my second yard was this one. So I was in New Zealand, and then the newspaper, coincidentally, it was on the background, it was not really get picture. Because it was just an average uh, fiberglass yard, so it was not... Uh, this is the history of this. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, there was a lot more, but it's all gone yeah. and fell apart. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's always in my mind. I, I can, people say you uh, have to write a book, but I don't know. My father wrote the book about yeah. his life story. And, and then later, I want to see the picture, uh, what you did in Puerto Galera. Kasi siya yung gumawa ng galleon dun eh. Na, yes, the galleon. Uh, ito yung galleon. Yung susunod nating uh, makikita yung galleon sa Puerto Galeano. Yeah, because the rest is just from sailing. So yeah, yeah. It's all my letters I wrote home with. So I sent letters, because that time no, e no internet, of course. So I sent it to my father, then he made like 20 copies. He sent it to my sister, my brother, my relatives who are interested. You have no plan of vacationing in your place? No, no not right now. Too busy with this. My younger sister, she died when she was four years old. But uh, my other brother got really contact a little bit. My sister, I have already good contact. She lives on the island where there's still a windmill for my grand grandfather. She lives nearby. Good talk now, Paul. How interview now? The thing is to go there and to bring. It's, it's not really. Right now, flying is not so expensive. If you mm -hmm. have the right dates, yeah. you can. For 600 uh, or for uh, 600 euro, like 30,000 peso, you can fly to Europe by right now. But to get that Schengen visa, I have to go to Manila and back and back. And it's a headache. Appointment. Uh, Appointment. Uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, waiting the, time. The traffic in Manila, I, I hate Manila. So even a taxi, they don't want to pick you up. I have a good friend live there, so he can pick me up and bring me to the embassy and things like that and you can stay with him but still it's uh, so have a uh, for my partner piece. said it's okay yeah. of course I like to bring my daughter there one day but at that time, at the time. I, I will be, be near the 80s I guess so so mga kababayan let me allow me to show some picture na? 
This is the the galleon na ini-enjoy ng maraming turista sa Puerto Galera ngayon. Ito yun, no? It's fully During completed. the construction, huh? ang gumawa si Case, no? Na nandito na sa San Jose ngayon. The great man of Puerto Galera is now living in San Jose. And this is his project, his passion in making ships. He also, well, put it in, you know, in a, like a Disneyland area. In a like a Disneyland area in Puerto Galera. Well, yeah, like the Agoma Beach in. Uh, yeah, in San Jose. San Jose is more well, yes, the First things first. Um, tell me about the story of this place. Is this your idea, or somebody asked you to do this for Puerto no, Galera? It started already 15 years ago by, with the previous mayor. I suggested from the mayor. Look. How you suggested? I suggested from look, we, we, because we have an excavation museum in Puerto Galera, but it's like a very little space and it's all piled up. The key, nobody has the key and nobody can visit really. So I said, we should have a place for the artifacts and the thing and give it the shape of a galleon. Uh -huh. So because uh, Puerto Galera is known as the, the port of galleons. But uh, then when the mayor was not, yeah, with no budget and did and did. And finally, we had the nine years ago, ten years ago, uh, nine years ago, eight years ago, we have a new mayor, uh, Rocky Eligan, and he he supported the idea. He said, okay, he said, that is great. He said, I hope from Tiesa, DOT, we can get a budget for the renovation of the whole Moelia area with a grandstand and a terminal and your galleon. Not your galleon, but like the galleon as museum and as, uh, as tourist attraction. So, so, so finally the, the, the funds was available and then I became like a subcontractor and I started building it and then, then the budget was what they gave me was very little, like very, you know, because money wise always, money there, but everybody have a little bit and the one who built it get, get uh, what is left. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was really my dream to build that. Yeah, and then this is the picture stands about the early stages of construction. Yeah, the other people went there alone, but they didn't see the construction. They know how made all the form because it's a ship. It's like round this way. It's round like this. It's like a little bit like the shape of a woman. So every frame is not like a straight column. It really have to get that shape. So. So I designed all on a big scale. I made a, like a big on the floor, and then I built all the molds. You can see the curves. So well, we put up the frames. I put up all the molds with the steel band, and then we fill it up with steel, one by one by one. Just also with four or five workers. And I did a lot. Of, I did all the carpeting and the, the things around. And, yeah, and uh, this around. Uh, so in the meantime, I made all these pulleys and blocks. It's all from, made from good lumber. I did it in the workshop. It was already far before it was like contracted. Because I, I, there was already a resort he was interested to I think, okay, I start. It will be built one day. That is a putikang bahagi ng Puerto Galera, no? Yeah, that is the, the low tide area where it is built. Uh -huh. So we made the, the footings we made on dry land. Uh -huh. And then, the, because it's very shallow. Very propagated now. So the backhoe, he could lift it up and he put the footings exactly uh -huh. in the market uh -huh. area. Tapos yun na. See, we had a... Meron siyang backhoe. Dinagay niya na dito. So high tide, I have to do other things again. Yung water, yung... Kasi high tide doon, talagang ginawa nila na... And even yung barko, parang nilubog nila doon, no? Yeah. So that's the construction phase so of Puerto the, Galera. Low tide, we, we could uh, concrete. And then finally we had like the first, uh, like an, uh, uh, a ring beam. Uh -huh. And then we could fill it up with broken uh, broken rock. And then every time we get a little bit higher, it was like fighting against the high tide. <laughs> and and finally the floor, the floor the level was just a little bit higher than the... You oh, can you see the shape of the... the shape, oh. It's a Puerto Galera. I mean, I think the, the very few, I mean, I don't really like for me, 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 but oh. very few people in the world who really have the kind of idea and knowledge how to how to start from. Mm -hmm. because, uh, Puerto Galera must be lucky. And then, just, if I said, how are you going to build it then? Just from Hollow Block. Hollow Block? I said, yeah, 
it's cheap way and you can plaster it nicely. Yeah, and yeah. If it have enough steel inside, it will be okay. Through so, the pages of history, then nothing finished. Then the, the contract, uh, but look, you can see the other plaster like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, standing in it. But then they were quite, quite nice guys. Uh, they, they, uh, they didn't care about in the rain or in the water. And they were proud, of course, uh, to be a part of it. They are already sleeping. Did their there, lunch time, yeah. eh? Look, uh, 12, uh, 1235. So, 2019. So no? one deck was already, one level was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we put the, the, the masts, all concrete, concrete. Ah, so and then, uh, yeah, last forever. Ah, ito na, ng kulay. Yeah, because that's like the cannons. I mean, How many uh, months in the making is this one? Uh, like about 20 months. 20 months, okay. The construction period, wow. A masterpiece already like inside the ship, no? Yeah, we, we use tiles that look like old. Grain oh, okay. timber. Pati na mo parang ano? Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the artifact you're saying? Yeah. So we, we had, uh, I had a an, uh, somebody who made a mo. I, I designed the the cannon. Oh. And then so I made uh, like a template and then the oh. work uh, made all the. Marami pa siyang mga. But uh, I don't have pictures from. Okay. Mga really pictures. complete the cannon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. We, we will not discuss all, so that no, by no, next can, time, can, by can, next time we still have stories to tell. I can tell uh, one, <laughs> week, one week long, I think, all my stories. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, but you are still, um, if somebody, you know, commission you to, to do something, uh, is your age and your uh, mind still... Uh, just advice and, and keep advice. it up, not any more shell. Uh, uh, no, advice or... For some architect or I have slight so, arthritis on my knees. I mean, not not pain now, but when I get up, oh, like that. Uh, really oh, retiring. Uh, yeah, a retirement. Uh, uh, time to retirement. Uh, but beautification. Uh, I would check with visitors and uh, spend some time in the bar. Oh, bar. It's like to have there, like a chat with people. But yeah. in the meantime, adding. I mean, we still have a hectare, so I mean, a three quarter hectare is left, so. Who knows what a crazy idea come up to build like a attra as an attraction, but not like a building, but like a, something for kids, like really sensational. Like a, I don't know. Yet. Can I ask you to to have a message to my followers all over the world? Uh, how to enjoy life and how to use your talent for other people. Uh, and how to stay happy in your life. Can you share some insights from your experience, sir? Yeah, I mean, I learned, of course, from my, my parents that, that money is not like the, the most important thing. It's, it's the health, it's the, the happiness, the, the, that you can fulfill what you like to do. I was always lucky, I could do what I like to do. My parents never stopped me and told me, oh, you should this or you should work. My father told me, don't, don't be a fisherman because fishing is it's complicated, it's difficult now with all the regulations, especially in Europe here, it's not yet too much trouble, but still. So, follow follow your heart, what you like to do, and, and do it a funny way, not, uh, not too much stress in your life. I never had really stress in my life. And, uh, so, and, yeah, and it's nice to see people happy with you from your product, and uh, that's for me the main thing, not to oh now I'm gonna rent it out and I'm gonna 50 peso everything every every day I'm gonna have 10,000 pesos like, no that's not important you just smile on the face and uh, that's for me and for, for people also they should follow that not always of course money money is important and I have easy talking right now I have my pension and that's another thing that I like to explain people think for this oh they're so lucky because when they're 60 or 65 they get pension from the state, they get money. It's not like that. We're not the state, okay, they give it. But we, if we earn 3,000 peso in, in a week, so let's say, 1,000 peso goes to the government, and 2,000 peso is for us. That 1,000, the government will put in funds on the stock market and try to let it grow. Then once you have the age of 65, you will get 
every month like a part of it. Like you, but you already pay before for 50 years normally. You, pay, you build up a pension over 50 years, from 15 to 65. Yeah, that's 50 years. So, and if you're not uh, work or thing, if you leave the country, you get shortened every year 2% less because you don't pay anymore. You have no income, so you don't pay the pension. But anyway, to be short, so it's just money what you put aside. And then finally, when you're 65, every month they give you something. But once you die, you don't get anything. It, it's not, in the old days, it, was, it goes to your partner. But now, no more, because the partner also has built up a pension, so then it should be doubled. So, so it's not like the government gives everybody money. It's, it's your own money, somehow. So it's not really you know, that easy, like when you, uh, as a, to, 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 to stop a little bit the misunderstanding by people sometimes. They think, oh, a foreigner is very rich because they get all this money from the... It's savings from the past. Yes. And yeah, that is, uh, you're forced to save. And it's also your health insurance. Everybody is have health insurance, but you pay for them. It's a part of that that you pay. Like here in the, the health, uh, feel health. But you're not fully insured. There you're 100% insured. If you end up in hospital, it doesn't cost you a peso. Thank you, Case. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Oh, yeah. You and will. that's what Case is telling us. Good luck and uh, thank you so much, Case. And looking forward to more creative world you are building in Samisong. Thank you, JB. Thank you, uh, Leo. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.